Fought in United today, Raymond. Mm-hmm. <laughs> I couldn't resist it. It's so silky. It's called Satin Passion. Really? I know it's extravagant, but it was in the sale. Sixty pounds. What? <laughs> take it off, take it off right now! Do you really want me to? I most certainly do. That's going straight back to the shop. <laughs> 60 pounds? But there's hardly anything to it. Really, Patricia, if you're going to spend that kind of money on a garment, you might at least purchase something vaguely functional. If you're wandering around in that, you'll catch your death. <laughs> I suggest you change it for something knee length. <laughs> in flannelette. <laughs> I thought you might like it. I thought it might turn you on. Patricia, I think you've known me long enough to realise that a reckless disregard for the value of money is scarcely likely to excite me. <laughs> I'm all for the occasional rash and exuberant gesture of frivolity. But sixty pounds for a wisp of chiffon and a shoelace is palpably absurd. <laughs> now, if you'll excuse me, I will return to my book. Raymond, I feel like a dried-up old prune. Now, there's a thought, Patricia. Delicious and very good for the bowel. <laughs> well, I wonder if you're going downstairs. Raymond! You're not listening to me! We are not the first and we won't be the last couple to have problems with our sex life. We do not have problems. We do not have a sex life. In which case, I really don't see how there can be a problem with it. <laughs> really, Patricia, you're not making sense. You can't just ignore it, Raymond! I want us to see a sex therapist. Oh, please, not that again. <laughs> we need help! We do not! I'm quite capable of satisfying the woman I love without instructions from a total stranger sitting on a beanbag. <laughs> <laughs> then let's do it! I want seeing to! I want servicing! <laughs> Nothing's changed. Look, I... <laughs> Look, I can't, Patricia. Not now, not with my boy in the house. I mean, if he were to hear us, you know, I mean, it just feels strange. That's a pathetic excuse. It's not. We can only hope to curb the excesses of youth if we lead by example and show some self-restraint ourselves. There's nothing wrong with Nookie! <laughs> He's still very young and impressionable. Not much older than that lad we got at the station. He could end up going the same way. I wonder what Bill gets up to at night. Considerably more than we do, I should imagine. <laughs> I'll see you in the morning. <laughs> <laughs>